always say that uh, laughter is the very best medicine. Well, I've got it on good authority that this is the very best medicine. so good week guys <laughs> oh I've been pretty sick lately like bad I rarely get sick like maybe once every couple years maybe I get a little sneezing fit here and there throughout the year because of allergies but I rarely actually get sick sick Last week, that's what's happened. It's been bad, and it's been in a combination with allergies. I don't know what exactly I'm allergic to, just like pollen or mold or whatever. I think pollen's high here right now, so it could be that. But, oh man, the allergies have just been awful. And then uh, with the cold all put together, I've been like <laughs> bedridden for the past week. It's been terrible. And that's why there haven't been any videos. I just haven't wanted to get up at all. Runny nose, terrible coughs, feeling sick to my stomach, headaches. That right there, that'll help feel it. <laughs> feel it? Feel it. Ooh, oh, I should have gotten on the highway. See if that Corvette wants to play around. And if you've been sick and try to go ride, you know how I feel about that. That's just no fun at all. Something about having your head enclosed in a helmet when you're sick is just not a fun experience. I'm sure y'all don't want me giving details on <laughs> sickness and things like that. <laughs> I still got a little of it left. For the most part, I'm over the sickness, but I, I don't know. Still like short of breath a little bit. Is that a cop? That's a that's definitely a cop. It, it sucks because I want to be making videos, but trust me, if I had tried to make a video in the past week, it would have been uh, wholly unentertaining. I don't even know the speed limit. Hopefully it's less than 40. Or not more, more than 40. I swear, if that cop pulls me over right now. People ask me why I don't have a mirror. Ask me how I get away with it. I, I've never gotten any slack over it. I've been pulled over for other reasons before and cops never say anything about the fact that I don't have a mirror. Here in Texas, technically you have to have one rear facing mirror. Just for safety's sake, I'm gonna just pull over here for a second. Let this cop go past. Did he go past? Yep, there he goes. Stock mirrors, I can't even see around myself. I got real broad shoulders and then once I have a jacket on, I literally can't see around me at all. And the little tiny bar and mirrors, they're okay, like I can see behind me, but they're just so small. It's a lot easier for me to just do head checks if I need to. When I'm out riding, I'm gonna change lanes and things like that. Looking around me, I always do head checks. The only time that I wish I had mirrors is in situations like that where I got a cop around me and I wanna be able to see him without looking around so I know if he flicks his light on or anything like that. Because regardless of whether you're doing something wrong or not, if you keep looking back, you know, he knows that you can see that he's there. Oh, that's a cop. What is up with all the cops out today? That's a motorcycle cop. What the heck? Now that cop's going that way. You eyeing me, bro? You want to go? I always thought it was funny when I got crap for not wearing a jacket on a motorcycle. Because I'm a motovlogging YouTuber and I am a prime example for the young children that are looking to ride motorcycles someday. But as a little kid, who's one of the prime figures that kids look up to or want to be someday? A police officer! But I don't know what it is. All Texas cops, at least the ones in Austin, who ride motorcycles, like on the job, they don't wear actual jackets. They're either in their just like regular cop t-shirts or they're like long sleeve cop t-shirts. They're never wearing actual motorcycle gear. Aside from their like fancy long boot things that I don't even know if they've got <laughs> good actual protection. They might, I don't know. But from a jacket perspective, which is what I get my most criticism about, for one, I don't actually wear one, which is rare. I 
I just find it funny because you never see them wearing jackets. They're the ones that should be setting a good example for kids. Not to say that any public figure, even a YouTuber, doesn't have at least a little bit of responsibility for setting a good example. So here's my tree tunnel. It's not really a tunnel at the moment because uh, the leaves <laughs> haven't come in this year. This is one of my favorite roads to ride on. If you watch my channel, you know that. Once spring really hits, all the leaves come in. This is like a real nice enclosed tunnel right through here. If you look to your right, you'll see the location where I do a lot of photo shoots and videos. But if you're a motorcycle cop and you're watching this video, I'm really curious. Like why don't motorcycle cops, or if you got like a dad who's a motorcycle cop, or an uncle, or a brother, I don't know. Regardless of the weather though, I always wear my helmet and gloves. Those are the things that I will never ride without. <laughs> I was just turning around. <laughs> I don't know if you have to pay to park here? I've never actually seen someone in there. Maybe because I only come here like after dark. They're not after dark, but like at the end of the day. Up towards the right is the oasis. Good spot to eat. Good spot for views. But yeah, this is a good place to ride. If you go here to the left, you can turn on to the other end of Lime Creek, which is like one of the most popular roads to ride on here in Austin. around the corner. I just like always think there's gonna be a cop over here now since I got a ticket here. Not on this specific road but in this area. But yeah I'm curious. I would have thought that they would have like some sort of uh, like a tire uniform protocol for motorcycle cops like they have to be wearing some sort of jacket that's provided. Like I haven't even, if they I don't even know if one exists, at least for the Austin uh, officers. Oh, that, that might be a cop. Oh, that's totally a cop, holy crap. <laughs> Here I'm like, oh, that's not a cop in front of me. Yep, he's definitely got lights on top. But yeah, I apologize guys for the lack of videos lately. It's, uh, I've had terrible timing with stuff, whether it be going out of town or getting sick. Things have just ruined my upload schedule lately. But this week is, uh, or this upcoming week is South by Southwest. If you don't know about that, it's this big festival, um, or conference kind of, that happens here in Austin. It is huge. They've got a film thing going on. They have a tech thing going on. They got music stuff going on. I never get a badge, but there's a lot of free stuff that you can just go to. And one of the coolest parts is just like meeting up with people. I'm gonna try to see if there's YouTubers that are coming into town that are able to meet up or something like that. I don't know, should be fun, hopefully, if <laughs> anything happens. But if there's any YouTubers that you know are gonna be in town for South By and uh, you want me to meet up with them, let me know in the comments and I'll try to make something happen. Oh, don't fall over. Man, I gotta pee like a racehorse right now. Drinking that gallon of water per day, especially when you're sick, that's real important. Uh, you gotta just like pee hardcore. Oh, my bad. But yeah, at the very least, I want to take my ruckus downtown this upcoming week and uh, see what's going on. Get some good footages. But that's going to be it, guys. I appreciate y'all checking in. Videos will be coming out, I promise. But y'all have a good rest of your day. Make sure you hit that like button and uh, subscribe if you aren't already. And I'll see y'all in the next one.